Welcome, this is Henrik from Visicron. Today we're going to talk about the new result and output features presented in version 9.6.0. And we first start looking at uh, how it was before. We can double click on the uh, output column. And you were presented with something like this. You can see the output straight as it is. Um, but now we added some new features. For example, now we're looking at the uh, SQL task and it would be more interesting to view it as a table. So this way you can uh, just switch to table view and see the table output here. Also in the uh, top left settings, you can see uh, the previous executions. So we can look at the date panel here where we can select the date and we can select the time of the execution. So we can switch between different executions here. Then we have something called the success and uh, failure ratio, uh, which you can see by double -click by clicking on this success uh, icon here. You can also see the task results, and these are values stored uh, when the actual task was executed. So you can go back and see which query was it using at this moment, how many rows did it returned, uh, return, and this also, if you look at the uh, execute task here, you can see that this is, of course, different depending on the task that you're using. So in this case, when using the execute task, you, we have the arguments and a command. And in this example, I have a variable inside of the arguments so you can see which exact value it was producing at this moment. So this was, this was the date variable in uh, this task here. We were looking at the different ways of presenting the output and we also have other ways as well. For example, the web macro task and the robot task has the video output. So you can view a video of when it was played back in the internal browser or when it was played back on the desktop. So it's important for debugging and audit logging and to see that um, everything was executed uh, accordingly. Uh, then we have also for images where you can see different type of images that were produced. So these are images tasks where you can see this. We have a new feature called the uh, CPU. Um, and this one will record the actual CPU usage of the task. So you can see this over time. You see the current execution here and we have these all these historic values here. Then we have the same for execution time. Uh, so you can see how that varies over time. Uh, the same with success. Uh, we have a success failure ratio, which you can look at here. Um, you are also able with some tasks to get the output in real time. For example, the execute task. So we can have this real time turn on and uh, now we're looking at particular execution, but if we see that uh, this task is running, we can switch to the running one and we will see how this updates in real time. Uh, what's interesting about the task results here is that this is like a quick uh, access to variables. So all these different task types has different um, type of variables and uh, you can access them normally by going to the variables browser. But when you are in this uh, task results view, you can uh, right click on a variable and you will get the exact variable that you can copy into clipboard. Uh, so if you want to use uh, the argument in an email, for example, you can copy this variable and use in an email notification. So now we are looking at the uh, task uh, output and result and you access the uh, normal text output as normal by double clicking on the output columns here. But you can also access the uh, result directly by double click on the result uh, icon here, which will lead you directly into the task results. We have uh, similar for jobs as well. So we can uh, double click on uh, the job result. And then we'll see uh, some other things here as well. So we have the same uh, time and date selection, same type of uh, success and failure ratio. We have the um, job results 
and um, this here you can see how it was executed by who it was executed if it was a certain trigger or something and uh, if we look at this for example in a uh, job that has a file trigger we can see exactly um, which uh, so we have the job variables here the job results you can right click and copy these variables but we also have the trigger uh, results here as well so if there was a trigger executing this job you will have this trigger tab and in this case this is the file trigger and you can see exactly which file did um, um, was produced at this moment that started the uh, execution uh, the name of the file, the full path, and everything that is related to the particular trigger that we're using at the moment. Also, we track the uh, CPU usage for the whole job. Um, and we can look at another one might, that might be more interesting. Let's see, like this one here. So we have the CPU usage. So now everything here is stored in the local uh, or remote external database so it's up to you how long how much data you want to store uh, how much time back and I will show you how this is stored later so here we can see the CPU usage uh, for the um, this particular task we can combine it with other CPU usage of uh, for example the Vichicron server as a whole or the, the whole machine and so now we're fetching this data as well uh, and we can compare it so we can see any bottlenecks during execution and it's all following this date range that we see here to uh, paint this chart and we have some average values here as well number of executions in the series etc similar for execution time of the whole job so you can see uh, maybe if the server is busy at some moments and you might need to move uh, the execution to another time yeah, or a server if you want to. In another video we are mentioning the ROI stats um, and in short here um, we can say that uh, you are able to record um, how much you earn or save um, by scheduling a task in into Vichicron and you can see this view per job here you can see the, this as a whole on all jobs in another window you can have like this uh, accumulated value here as well so I was talking about the uh, database settings for this uh, so we can open the um, server settings log settings and um, database settings here uh, so now you can see I'm storing to an external database and we can see that I'm storing 30 days back. So you can increase this value if you want to store these values for a longer time. These are, um, this specific part here is related to the um, CPU usage of the server and operating system. Then we have the uh, all data re regarding the job is stored in this data, data table here. And we have the task um, data here. So you might want to have corresponding values here if you want to have accurate charts over time. See if there's something else here. We can see. Um, let's open this one here. We go back to the um, backup settings for the SQL task again. So again, uh, all these data can be exported. Um, by just uh, going to any table that we see here and we can export and save it and I think that's it for now we will continue to improve this uh, output and results section if you need specific um, output or variables or um, from, from certain tasks please let us know and we will add it we do this over time we have plus 350 tasks so we try to prioritize those that are, that are mostly used um, but uh, you should be able to view um, all tasks that produces some kind of table in the table result as well so we thank you for listening and um, please get back to us if you have any further questions bye for now